Captain Earth Japanese, Kayaputin A. Su Hepburn, Kayaputin Asu is a 25-episode Japanese anime television series produced by Bones. It is directed by Takuya Igarashi and written by Yoji Anokido. It aired in Japan from April 5 to September 20, 2014 on MBS. The series follows high school student Daichi Minatsa who starts working for the Globe organization to pilot a giant robot called the Earth Engine Impactor to protect the Earth from the invading alien force known as the Kill T Gang that intends to drain all the life force of mankind to empower their immortal existences. Topic. Plot High school student Daichi Minatsa works for the Globe, Gurobu Gurobu organization to pilot a giant robot called the Earth Engine Impactor, a Swenjininpakuta Asu Engine Impakuta to protect the Earth from the invading alien force known as the Kill T Gang, Kurutogangu Kurutogangu, that intends to drain all the life force of mankind to empower their immortal existences. In order to aid Daichi, Globe starts gathering allies including Tepe Arashi, a Kill T gang whose memories have been erased and trapped inside a human's body, Hana Muto, a mysterious girl connected to the ship Bloom, and Akari Yomatsuri, a 17-year-old genius hacker. Together they form the Midsummer's Knights and fight the Kill T gangs who are in search of more of their allies. Topic. Characters <laughs> Topic Globe Topic Midsummer's Nights Daichi Manatsa, Jensha Daichi Manatsa Daichi Voiced by Miu Irino Daichi is a 17-year-old high school student who lost his father years prior in a space travel accident and left his family's home on Tanegashima afterwards. When he sees a ringed rainbow formation on a television broadcast from the Tanegashima Space Center, he returns. Because of his skill at a particular arcade game, it makes him the perfect pilot for the Earth Engine Impactor and the smaller Earth Engine Ordinary Component Robot. Daichi is able to summon a mysterious laser handgun known as the Livlaster Tanegashima, a powerful weapon that utilizes pure orgone energy, which is essential for piloting the Earth engine. Later he is assigned the title of Captain Earth, the leader of the Midsummer's Knights. Daichi is uncomfortable with his new title and the responsibilities that come from being a captain, like his father. The planetary gears refer to Daichi as a neoteny. Daichi wears a white and red flight suit on missions, matching the Earth Engine's paint job. He is the first human to use a Livlaster, Tepe Arashi, Lan Tepe Arashi Tepe. Voiced by, Hiroshi Kamiya. Tepe is one of Daichi's childhood friends. Daichi is in fact his only friend, as the boy was the only person to not fear his otherworldly abilities, such as being able to create a rainbow ring in his hand. Tepe rarely smiles at anyone and seemed happy when Daichi wasn't afraid of his weird powers. He is, in truth, the human form of the Type 3 Kill T gang known as Albion and is called Alaya by other Kill T gang members. The genes for his designer's child human body were provided by a man named Eiji Arashi, who was in stasis on the Tenkaido station before escaping. Tepe's ego block is eventually destroyed, leaving him a normal human. Though he loses the ability to become Albion, he gains his own Livlaster, which he uses to power up his own mecha, the prototype Nebula Engine Impactor. His machine Goodfellow unit, the silver-colored Aramusha, is converted into the Nebula Engine Ordinary Component Robot. Like Daichi, Tepe is now referred to as a Neoteny by the Planetary Gears. Tepe wears a blue flight suit when on missions, matching the paint scheme on the Nebula engine, Hana Muto, Mengta Hana Muto Hana. Voiced by, Ai Kayano. Hana is a strange girl who appears to be 17 years old as her true age is unknown. 
She was discovered in the basement of the Tanegashima Space Center enclosed in a sphere. Hannah was found with a Livlaster weapon of her own, but she is unable to summon or use it and it is kept in storage at Globe HQ. She is connected to a ship known as Bloom, hidden somewhere on Tanegashima Island, and possesses the ability to instill orgone energy from Bloom into a machine goodfellow unit by singing a certain song. She is also often accompanied by a strange squirrel-like creature named Pitts that can communicate with her and predict orgone energy events. She is in love with Daichi. Hannah was created by the planetary gears as a living weapon capable of using a livelaster, but she escaped to Earth to hide in stasis until Daichi found her years later. Hannah wears a pink flight suit when on missions and later becomes the pilot of Globe's third mecha, the flare engine impactor, Pitts, Pitsu Pitsu. Voiced by, Katori Koiwaipitz as Hannah's blue squirrel-like creature that can communicate with her and predict orgone energy events. Also theorized to be the mysterious blue hair girl showing out from time to time, Akari Yomatsuri, Yiji Akari Yomatsuri Akari. Voiced by, Rina Hadaka. Akari is a 17-year-old genius hacker who styles herself as a magical girl of sorts. She is Nishikubo and Yomatsuri's daughter, and claims she dedicated herself to hacking while her parents were not with her due to work. She has allegedly hacked into international satellites even from the U.S. She operates under the handle, Code Papillon, when hacking. Akari is so skilled at computers, she has the ability to access and control every weapon of mass destruction on the planet, but she claims she can only attempt this once, as the world's governments would recognize and counter future attempts. Akari wears a yellow flight suit on missions. Topic. Tanegashima Base Sutomu Nishikubo, Shiju Bao Sutomu Nishikubo Sutomu Voiced by, Rikia Koyama Nishikubo is the head of the Globe Organization's Tanegashima base. He previously worked with Daichi's father Taiyo Minatsa. He's Akari's father whom she rarely sees due to work. Nishikubo has a habit of going over the heads of his superiors if it means completing a mission successfully, Rita Hino, Riyi Rita Hino Rita. Voiced by, Kaori Nazuka. Rita is the deputy head of the Globe Organization's Tanegashima base, Peter West Village, Pai Ta Uesutobereji Pita Uesutobereji. Voiced by, Koichi Sakaguchi. The technology development manager of the Globe Organization, he was a former employee of Macbeth Enterprises, Sander, Sanda Sanda. Voiced by, Shun Takagi one of the operators at the Tanegashima base. He has black skin, Trias, Toriasu, Toriasu. Voiced by, Ryosuke Kaneki. One of the operators at the Tanegashima base. He has blonde hair. Topic. Tenkaido Tenkaido is Globe Space Station, where Kill T Gang attacks are monitored. The station also houses several thousand people in stasis as part of an evacuation plan should the impactors ever fail. Subaki Yomatsuri, Yiji Subaki Yomatsuri Subaki. Voiced by, Yoko Somi. The head of the Tenkaido, she is Akari's mother and Tsutomu's ex-wife, Mia. Mia voiced by, Katori Koiwai. One of the operators of the Tenkaido. She has blonde hair, Rina. Rina voiced by, Aikumi Nakagami. One of the operators of the Tenkaido. She has brown hair. Topic. Planetary Gears The Planetary Gears are a group of alien beings, known as Kill T Gang, who feed on orgone energy originating from human libido. Their essences are contained in ego blocks, which are digitized forms of consciousness, stored on a ship stranded in the orbit of Uranus. Nine years before the start of the series, the planetary gears wiped out a research team stationed on the dark side of the moon, draining their libido and creating a giant, glowing crystal that covers most of the moon's surface. 
Kill T gang are able to inhabit genetically engineered, artificial bodies known as designer's children, and can inhabit and pilot their true forms, giant mecha like energy beings, through cockpit like devices known as machine goodfellow, which can also be converted into small mecha for Earth based combat. Kill T gang have access to special abilities known as singularities that differ on the individual but have the common trait of both sharing memories and communicating telepathically through kissing. Because the Kill T Gang's true forms absorb libido through proximity, humanity would be wiped out should even one make it to the Earth, necessitating the use of impactors. Amara Amara voiced by, Kanichi Suzumura The humanoid form of the Type 1 Kill T Gang robot Amarok, Amaraku Amaraku he is the leader of the invasion force he calls the Planetary Gears, and sees the eternal lives of the Kill T Gang as their strength. To Amara, humanity is nothing more than a pure energy source to extend the Kill T Gang's powers. Nine years before the series, he faced Tai Yomanatsa and caused his death and was also responsible for the large crystal on the moon's surface. After his and Moko's attacks are thwarted by Daichi and Tepe, Amara uses Puck to search for his dormant comrades and reawaken them to their true selves. Amara has a singularity ability that allows him to awaken a Kill T gang with a kiss. Amara's Blue Machine Goodfellow unit is known as Tenruse, literally, Celestial Wolf Star. Moko, Moko, Moko. Voiced by, Maya Sakamoto. The humanoid form of the Type 2 Kill T Gang robot Malkin, Mo Rukin Morukin. She is the first Kill T Gang encountered by Daichi and Ko leads the planetary gears along Amara. After her and Amara's attacks are thwarted by Daichi and Tepe, she along Amara search for their dormant comrades and awake them to their true selves. Moko is a skilled hacker, but not on the level of Akari, and her singularity ability allows her to transfer memories and knowledge through kissing. Moko's pink machine goodfellow unit is known as Moko Usagi, literally, assault rabbit, Setsuna, Setsuna, Setsuna. Voiced by, Haruka Kudo. The humanoid form of the Type 8 Kill T Gang robot Siren, Seer N. Siren. It takes the form of a childish-looking girl wearing a large hat. Setuna is accompanied by a pink squirrel-like being of the same species as Pitts named Lapa and has the power to siphon orgon energy from nearby beings by singing. She is the true leader of the planetary gears, Zin, Jin Jin. Voiced by, Koki Uchiyama. The humanoid form of the Type 6 Kill T Gang robot Zinbalt, Jinbaruto, Jinbaruto. He takes the form of a dignified young man in a long cloak. He was a quiet but talented individual, and was a dealer at a casino, having his talents exploited by others he felt, he had nothing of his own before being reawakened. His singularity ability gives him the power to disrupt and disable any electronics in a wide radius. Zin's Red Machine Goodfellow unit is named Jing-IQ and its mecha configuration is equipped with a large fan for flight, I I voiced by, Nozomi Yamamoto. The humanoid form of the Type 5 Kill T Gang robot Ayatar, Ayataru Ayataru. It takes the form of a young woman in a long flowing dress. I was a popular teen idol, who became insecure of her career, before her reawakening. I's yellow machine goodfellow unit is known as Hebahanabi, literally, fire flower and as a heavy artillery unit equipped with large shoulder cannons, Lin, Rin Rin. Voiced by, Megumi Han. The humanoid form of the Type 4 Kill T Gang robot Liban, Riban Riban. It takes the form of a young woman in a dress that shows off her legs. She was a fiercely competitive and unmatched biker, who was obsessed with speed, a trait that carries even after her reawakening. Lin's turquoise machine goodfellow unit, Ningyohime, literally, Mermaid Princess, is a speedy watercraft equipped with combat knives, Baku, Baku voiced by, Toshiyuku Toyonaga. The humanoid form of the Type 7 Kill T Gang robot Bugbear, Bagabia Bagabia. It takes the form of a young man who appears to be trained in martial arts. 
He was first confined and later sold to the Asinota Yakuza after Kumiko, the daughter heir chose him, and serves as an illegal wrestler for the family to earn large funds through bets earning a name for himself. During a match against Amara, he has vague memories of his previous encounters with him, causing him confusion and escapes before Moko could awaken him. Eventually it is revealed that every member of the Asinota family was killed on a bombing incident, causing him to revive all the victims with his singularity. However, since they are not fully revived, his power fades and all people die again, including Kumiko, and joins the planetary gears out of grief. Baku's Green Machine Goodfellow unit, Bakuretsuju, is a close combat unit equipped with brass knuckle weapons and stretchable arms and legs. Topic. Macbeth Enterprises Macbeth Enterprises is a greatly successful conglomerate, and one of the major stakeholders of the Planetary Gears, designing the Machine Goodfellows and the Designer Child program, and assist the aliens in different ways. After the Kanda incident, a major scandal that involved several government agencies discovering the illegal genetic modification of children, and the apparent suicide of its former CEO, the company is under the management of Masaki Cube, a member of the company's founding family. Masaki Cube, Jubu Masaki Cube Masaki Voiced by, Yuya Uchida The current CEO of Macbeth Enterprises he plans to exploit the use of Orgone energy, designer children, the kilt gangs and the Kavoto's plan to his own ends in order to rule over humanity and holds his secretary Hitomi in high regard and as a possible love interest. Despite his knowledge of the kilt gangs, he seems to be completely oblivious that Amara and Moko are in fact the aliens themselves and believes them to be submissive designer children that he holds in high esteem. After discovering that Puck has not been completely loyal to him, he confronts the computer and threatens to shut it down, but its emergency interrupter is ineffective and Cube is subsequently knocked unconscious through gas, and has his body snatched by Puck through a machine that transferred its consciousness, Hitomi Makino, Muyi Hitomi Makino Hitomi. Voiced by, Hiroko Yoshida, Cube's personal secretary. She is the closest to Cube and he shares many of his secrets solely to her, as he holds her in high regard. She does her best to ensure the company and its employees are working to the best, and is very strict. Hitomi has feelings for Cube which are seemingly reciprocated, Puck, Paku Paku. Voiced by, Hiroki Shimawada. A mysterious computer hidden in a special room within Macbeth Enterprises' main office, with a highly advanced AI that allows him to engage in normal conversations, usually commenting on Cube's love affair. He is also known as PAC. Although apparently submissive towards Cube, he is secretly aligned with the planetary gears, taking orders from Amara and Moko and assisting them the best he can. He eventually lays a trap for Cube, using gas to make him lose consciousness and use a special consciousness transferring machine that previously belonged to Mao Marimora in order to take possession of Cube's body. He tends to use the catchphrase, Puck does not lie. Topic. Other characters Tayo Manatsa, Jensha Tayo Manatsa Tayo Voiced by, Toshiyuku Morikawa Daichi's father, who died in a suicidal attack nine years before the events of the series during the Kill T Gang's first attempt to invade the Earth. Daichi was told that he had died in an accident. Tayo was a captain. A title that his son eventually inherits, Toshiaki Manatsa, Jensha Toshiaki Manatsa Toshiaki Voiced by, Makoto Yasumura. Brother of Taiyo Manatsa, Daichi's uncle and legal guardian. Topic. Development The series was officially announced on September 6, 2013, in the October issue of Kadokawa Shoten's monthly new type. Topic. Release 
The anime series is directed by Takuya Igarashi and produced by Bones. Igarashi made sure the title did not sound like a made-up word when revealing it. Through it, he wants the viewers to imagine what it would be like and create a different impression when watching the show. Unlike his previous work, Star Driver, Captain Earth focused less on high schools and more on the relationship between human characters who pilot mechas. Something the team was aiming for with Captain Earth is having a good-looking launch sequence as he believes. Robots and rockets are deeply imbued with childhood dreams and that sort of giddy excitement in boys' hearts. The series is being simulcasted by Crunchyroll in their website. It premiered in Japan on April 5, 2014, on MBS, and at later dates on Tokyo MX, TVA, BS11 and MBC. It is set to last 25 episodes. For the first 13 episodes, the opening theme is Believers High, Biri Bazu High Burabazu High by Flumpool, and the ending theme is Amethyst, Amejisuto Amejisuto, performed by Ai Kayano as Hana Star, Ai Kayano, Hana Star, Mao Yi Ai Yi. Kayano also performed the song Muggen no Hana, Menghuan no Wa Lit, Flower of Dreams, as her character Hana Muto, which was included in the first episode. From episode 14 onwards, the opening theme is Tokyo Dreamer by Nico Touches the Walls and the ending theme is The Glory Days by Tia. Satoshi Ishino is adapting Fumi Minato's original character designs for animation, and he is also the chief animation director. A Star Driver veteran, Shigeto Koyama, designed the Earth Engine and other engine series mecha, while Takayuki Yunais handled the Machine Goodfellow designs and other mecha. Shinji Aramaki and Takeshi Takakura are the other mechanical designers. Masaki ASAI and Takeshi Yoshioka designed the enemy Kill T Gang, and the artist Okama is contributing concept designs. Tsuyoshi Kusano is the graphic designer, and Masatsugu Saito is credited for design works. The series was released onto DVD and Blu-ray format with the first volume published on July 18, 2014. The anime has been licensed by Sentai Filmworks for digital and home video release. Topic. Episodes Topic. Video game A visual novel titled Captain Earth, Mind Labyrinth was released on February 26, 2015, for the PlayStation Vita. Topic. Reception UK Anime Network called it Eureka 7 meets Star Driver and noted that this might grab the attention of fans of the prior works. Critical reception to the first episode has been mixed within the Anime News Network staff, with several comments focused on the pacing but mostly praise given to the animation. In an extensive review of the first three episodes, UK Anime Network was disappointed with the series beginning, noting Bones could do much better. The reviewer praised the animation and potential but criticized most of its characters.